Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen. Today we discuss variables in Python language. So go for it. Now we discuss variables in Python. In many programming languages, variables are statically typed. Okay, that means a variable is initially declared to have a specific data type and any value assigned to its during its lifetime must always have that type okay but variables in python are not subject to these restriction in python a variable may be assigned a value of one type and then later reassigned a value of a different type okay so go for an example now in c or c plus plus we first declare the variable like int a semicolon after we define the value a equal to 10 semicolon and same way suppose float b semicolon and b equal to 10.95 semicolon but in python it is not need we are defining the value directly a equal to 10 and after suppose we print that value so it print 10 same way if we define the value of b is 12 and after we print the value of b so it will give the output 12 here in python it is possible means we are defining at first a equal to 10 means as an integer but after that we can define a as a string a equal within single code we are defining technical arcoin and we, if we want to print the value of a it will print technical arcoin okay now we will discuss here what is object reference actually what is actually happening when we make a variable assignment okay python is highly object oriented programming language in fact virtually every item of data in python program is an object of a specific type or class that means python variable are references to objects okay now go for an example suppose we are write print and within first bracket write a integer literal and if we enter so we got this value as an output 300 and now if we want what type of 300 is then or we can say if we want to know what type it is then we just given within a type function and write 300 and press enter it will give an output as class int means integer literal in python is an object okay so when this first line will execute then three steps will actually going on first create an integer object what does mean means in memory a integer object is create okay suppose its object identity is 18925 it is an object identity object identity or we can say simply is an address okay so first what happened create an integer object in memory okay after what happened gives it the value 300 so in that particular position the value should be 300 why because we write here print 300 that's why this particular position the value is 300 after that display it to the console after that the 300 will be display on console okay that means integer literal in python is an object and that's is an object reference is concerned okay now go for another example suppose we just write a equal to 300 okay and after that we just write a and it will print 300 actually what happened in memory same way an integer object will create suppose its object identity is 18912 its object identity okay now in the first line we are write a equal to 300 that means in memory first a integer object is created okay and a is a variable name and it is an object identity okay and the variable name is a okay 
and what is the value? The value is 300. Okay. Actually, in Python, variables are references to an object. Means a variable is references here to an integer object. And the object is 300. Okay. Now, if we want to know what type of the variable a is, then we write the function type and within first bracket we write a and enter and it will gives as an output the class int means a variable is also an integer type okay now go for the another example suppose we write here m equal to a now what happen if we write that case so actually python does not create another integer object it simply creates a new symbolic name or reference m which points to the same integer object that a points to. That means a is point this particular object. Now after that line m also point this particular object. Means no new integer object will be created. Okay. Now if we again just write m and press enter so we, we got the value is 300 because why because m is pointing this particular object okay now we go for the another function is known as id what happened id is actually display the object identity okay if we write id and within first bracket a so what happened it will print this id because a variable id is that so it will be 18912 means a is a variable which points or which reference the object 300 and the object 300 object identity is that the similar manner if we write id and we want to know what the id of m so we will get the same id because multiple references to a single object both a and m okay in python what is object identity Okay, every object in Python that is created is given a number just like that. Okay, that uniquely identifies it. It is a guaranteed that no two objects will have the same identifier during any period in which their lifetimes overlap. Okay, the built in python function that's id returns an object's integer identifier means id returns the object identity number which is unique okay now the another example suppose we write m equal to 400 and after enter we write m and give an enter so we got 400 and the previous example what happened the 300 integer object was created and a and m both are referencing the single object 300 and its object identity is 18912 for an example now when we write this line so what happened in memory the new object 400 will be created and suppose its object identity is 18915 is a new object okay and it is your identity object identity number now after executing this line m is referencing that object so now m is no more referencing that because it is overwrite at first we are right m, e, m equal to a that means m and a both are referencing a single object but now we are right m equal to 400 that means a no more point or reference the integer object 300 now it point the integer object 400 how if we want to know its id so just write id and within first bracket write m so we got 18915 as output not 18912 that means now m is pointing or referencing to the another object which is 400 as an integer object okay now if we write a equal to suppose within single quote means we are defining a string 
literal suppose a equal to with single quote technical and after we print a and give an enter so what we get as output technical that means string literals also an object so what happen in memory it will create and suppose its object identity is 18911 this is an object identity okay and what are the referencing name now it's a now the previous example a is pointing 300 now a is pointing the technical because its value is now technical and it's an a string literal so what happened this pointing is no more exist okay that means after executing this line there is no longer any reference to the integer object 300 it is orphaned and there is no way to access it means this object identity is no more accessible by any of the variables now why because it is now is an orphan and no way to access it so this is the beauty of python means we can create variable and we can reinitialize the variable with another type and this is permissible to python language okay now the another topic regarding variable is a variable name okay officially variable names in python can be any length and can consist of uppercase and lowercase letters means capital a to capital z and small a to small z also digits from 0 to 9 and underscore character only okay an additional restriction is that variable name can contain digits but first character of a variable name cannot be a digit also variable name can never be a keyword or within the variable name we cannot use a blank space okay so go for an example suppose we are write a underscore one suppose we are write underscore one underscore two underscore a suppose we are write one underscore a or we can write suppose if okay now we are defining this four variable now which are the correct one and which are wrong so this is correct because it contain the first digit as a letter underscore is permissible and digit is also permissible this variable is also correct why it start with underscore because the start position or first position should be a letter or a underscore not a digit so it's also permissible because the combinations which is consist within the range of variable okay the third one is not permissible it's a wrong way we are writing why because one means we are right here one at first so the digit never starts at a first character of a variable okay that's why it's a not permissible means it's a wrong way to declare a variable name and this is also a wrong why because if is a keyword in python okay i hope you have understood this topic more features of python will be coming next videos so keep watching thank you